Hey there, Purple Team, Dan here, and I'm super excited to welcome you back to another thrilling adventure on my channel. Just stepping into the world of Kali Linux, you're in for a ride. We're about to level up your hacking skills big time. Think of this as your all access pass to becoming a Kali Linux guru, or better yet, a certified pro hacker. Are you ready? Let's hit the ground running. Picking up from our last episode in the Kali Linux, I showed you the top 10 plus one most used tools in Kali. Missed out? No worries. The link is provided below. All right, time to dive into the meaty part. Step one, updating and upgrading. Let's wake up your terminal. Kick things off with a swift sudo apt update. This little gem fetches the newest package lists without even asking you to say yes. Talk about efficiency. Pop in your root password, hit enter, and give it a sec to work its magic. It's usually quick, so no need for a coffee break just yet. Once it's done doing its thing, give your terminal a quick cleanup. Moving on to the next step, punch in sudo apt upgrade minus y. This command is your go-to for saying a big yes to all upgrades, cutting through those prompts like a hot knife through butter. We're leveling up our command line skills already, aren't we? After entering your password and hitting enter, this part might test your patience a bit more, especially if your internet is taking its sweet time. But hey, patience is a virtue, right? Now while we're waiting, let's clear the air about something. The upgrade command is your best friend for keeping the installed packages fresh on your current Linux version. But when it's time to jump to a whole new version, that's when full upgrade steps into the spotlight. No worries though, we'll explore the realms of full upgrade in a future video, so stay tuned for that. We've got a little surprise bonus for you at the end of the video. You're definitely going to want to stick around for it. It's too good to skip. Now diving back into the techie stuff. Once all that upgrading action wraps up, it's time to tidy up with a pseudo apt auto remove. Hit enter and watch as it sweeps away those no longer needed packages keeping your system clean and lean. And here's a pro tip before we march on. Let's hit pause and snap a snapshot of our current state. This clever move is like having a safety net, making it super easy to bounce back if we ever hit a snag down the road. All right, now that we're all set and tidy, it's time to dive into step two. Let's keep this momentum going. If you're catching up with us for the first time, you're right on time for an epic Get Cyber Voyage. Smash that subscribe button as if it's your job. On to step two where the real fun begins, beefing up our toolkit. You've probably heard the saying, the right tools for the right job, right? Well, in the hacking world, this couldn't be truer. We're talking about the heavy hitters, like Nmap, Metasploit, Python, Git, and a whole arsenal of others that are non-negotiable for any hacker worth their salt. Let's kick things off with Nmap. Fire it up with a simple Nmap localhost to do a quick ping scan. Boom, you're in business. But why stop there? Metasploit, come on down. A quick MS app console, version check, and you're rolling. And the beauty of it? This approach works with just about any tool. Swap in any tool name and you're golden. Ran into a tool you don't have yet? No problem. Sudo apt install Python 3. Throw that command down and you're on your way to expanding your toolkit. This trick works for snagging any tool you need. Thinking about adding pip to your toolbox? Pseudo apt install pip has got you covered for all sorts of operations. Now, for the crown jewel, Git. Think of Git as your personal wizard for conjuring up project packages and keeping your version control game strong. It's also your golden ticket to grabbing your favorite hacking tools straight from GitHub. Let's put it to the test. I'm about to clone a repo directly to my desktop with Git clone. And just like that, we're ready to rock and roll with any project. With our tool belt fully loaded, it's time to march on to step three. Let's do this. Diving into step three, we're about to level up our security game by creating a low-level user, a crucial move for any savvy hacker using Kali Linux. If you kicked off your Kali adventure with the default Kali username and password, the very first order of business is changing that password to something only you know. How? Easy. Dive into the terminal with sudo su, punch in your current password, and then hit up password to cook up a new uncrackable password. Now, onto the star of the show, creating our low-level user, affectionately dubbed Pro Hacker. This isn't just any user, this is about laying down the law with security. Kickstart Pro Hacker's digital life by typing a doozer Pro Hacker into the terminal. Doing this as root means you sidestep the hassle of entering passwords over and over. But we're not stopping at just creating Pro Hacker. Oh no, 
We're giving this user the keys to the kingdom with pseudo privileges. Just a quick user mod, ag pseudo pro hacker command, and bam, pro hacker is not just any user. They're a user with the power to execute root level commands. Remember to swap out pro hacker with whatever epic username you choose. And because we want pro hacker to feel right at home, we're setting them up with a proper login shell using chsh s bin bash pro hacker. This means ProHacker can truly interact in all its glory. Just to dot our I's and cross our T's, let's confirm those pseudo privileges are in place with a grep pseudo, etc. group. Seeing ProHacker's name there? That's your cue for a victory dance. You've officially leveled up your Kali Linux setup. Prefer the visual route? Kali's got you covered. Head over to Applications, Settings. Users and groups for a graphical interface where you can manage users just as effectively. With ProHacker fully operational, dive in with SU ProHacker and explore to your heart's content. And with that, we're ready to roll into step four. Let's keep this cybersecurity train moving. Step four, now let's hit our Kali setup to superhero levels with a terminal multiplexer. While Kali comes equipped with a tab terminal perfect for juggling multiple sessions, navigating through a sea of tabs can turn into a bit of a juggling act. That's where the magic of terminal multiplexer swoops in, transforming chaos into seamless multitasking elegance. Dive into the world of multiplexers with champions like Console and Guaca at your fingertips. Ready to get started with Console? Simply punch in sudo apt install console, Y, hit enter, and watch as your terminal transforms. Launch your new sidekick with a console command and marvel at how it effortlessly splits your screen up, down, and all around, letting you conquer multiple tasks in a single, organized view. But the adventure doesn't stop with Console. Tmux helps you maintain several detached terminals in one. Install it, try it out, and feel the difference. And let's not overlook Guake, a drop-down terminal that's always just a keystroke away from springing into action. The best part? The power of choice is in your hands. Explore, experiment, and find the multiplexer that fits your quest like a glove. And if you ever find yourself tangled in commands, a quick help flag with any tool name will shine a light on the path forward. Now that we're terminal multitasking maestros, it's time to gear up for step five in our Kali Odyssey. For step five, will change your coding game to legendary status with the ultimate code editor for the modern hacker, Visual Studio Code, VS Code. While Kali Linux is armed to the teeth with classic editors like Nano and Vim, and even lets you add Get It into the mix, there's one heavyweight champion that truly changes the game, VS Code. Renowned for its potent combination of power, user-friendliness, and seamless Git integration, VS Code is the dream tool for anyone looking to write, edit, and manage their code like a pro. Let's dive into getting VS Code onto your system. Kick off this adventure by heading to the official Visual Studio Code website with your web browser. Once there, do a little scroll to find and download the .deb file, the perfect match for our distro. Why go for the .deb file, you ask? It's the key to a hassle-free life, making installation a breeze and keeping updates smooth via the APT package manager. Sure, we could try other methods like get, curl, or even a daring Git clone from GitHub. But why complicate things? Got the file? Great. Now let's switch to your terminal and navigate to your downloads folder. A quick ls will reveal your shiny new .deb file sitting there, waiting. It's showtime. Install it with sudo apt install .deb. Why? Patience is a virtue here, especially if your internet's taking its sweet time. Installation complete, it's time to unleash the power of VS Code. Find it under the Applications menu or, if you're like me and love the terminal's charm, just pop it open right from there. Why not kick things off with a bang? Create a new folder on your desktop, let's call it hashed, and fire up VS Code in this new playground by running code dot. Time for bonuses. Let's dive into a game-changing trick up our sleeve. The shared clipboard and drag and drop capabilities linking your virtual hacking playground directly with your Windows mainframe. Imagine moving text and files back and forth with nothing but a simple drag, drop, or copy-paste action. Sounds like magic, right? Well, it's all about making your life easier. Getting this sorcery to work is a breeze. Head over to the Devices menu, chilling in the top left corner. Then from the magical dropdown that appears, grant life to the Shared Clipboard and Drag and Drop options by setting them to bidirectional. Voila, you're now a digital wizard effortlessly teleporting files between your virtual and physical realms. Why not give this newfound power a whirl? Try pulling a file from your host machine into the vast expanse of your Kali Linux desktop. 
witness the simplicity and efficiency of transferring files sans the hassle of additional software. This, my friend, is the epitome of hacking convenience. As we wrap up, I have something important to tell you. Let's not forget, the path to becoming a master hacker is paved with endless learning and relentless adaptation. In the fast-paced world of cybersecurity, even the veterans encounter fresh hurdles daily. It's your unwavering dedication and the eagerness to tackle new challenges that will truly carve your mark in this ever-shifting landscape. Thank you for embarking on this incredible journey with me. If today's adventure has sparked your interest to dive deeper into securing, hacking, and innovating within the cybersecurity and ethical hacking universe, don't forget to show your support by smashing that like button, hitting subscribe, and ringing that notification bell to stay on the cutting edge. Remember, our journey is a shared one. Your questions, insights, or epiphanies are what make this community thrive. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'm all ears and ready to engage. Until our paths cross again in the digital realm, keep hacking, keep learning, and see you in the next video.